Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. In the previous video, we did the recording of MM01 through SHDB transaction code. And this is our recording. Now we will select this recording and we will transfer this recording to the program. It means we will create a program which will consist of this recording. So I will select this recording. I will go to and I will click on to create program button. Now I will give some program name. Suppose this is my program for MM01. And I will give some serial number. Now we are transferring the recording to the program. So I will choose the second radio button transfer from recording. I'm transferring the recording to the program. I will click on to OK button. Now you can see this pop-up is SC38 transaction code. You are getting this pop-up in SC38 because you, whenever you are creating a program, you are always creating through SC38. Now we are creating through hey, this button. So it ultimately it is navigating to SC38 only. I will give some title to the program to migrate the materials. To migrate the materials. I will choose the type as executable program and I will click on to source code button. Suppose I will save this program as a local object. And you can see whatever we did, SAP recorded those steps and we pass that recording to the program. So this is the recording. This is the recording. We will understand this recording in very much detail so that there will not be any confusion. We will understand each and every part of the logic and we will compare it to the recording. If you remember what you did when you recorded MM01 through SHDB, what you did first in MM01? This is your MM01 transaction code. This is the screen of MM01. So if I want to check the screen number of MM01 initial screen, how I can check system status. And you can see this is the program and this is the screen number. If you see SAP recorded this thing. This is the program name. This is the program name. And this is the screen number 60. So what is the first step of MM01? You went to screen number 60. Screen number 60. Now, after that, what you did? You passed the material number as P material. If you remember, after that, we gave the material number as P material. You can see material number as P material. I we gave P2 material. After that, what you did, you choose the industry sector pharmaceutical. SAP also pass pharmaceuticals because we know if there is a pharmaceutical, SAP will store P. Now, after that, what you did, you choose the material type as raw material. What SAP did, SAP passed the material type as TROH and we saw already TROH is raw material. After that, what you did, you simply press enter 
you pass some material may you pass some material number and you pressed enter after that one more screen came and you can see whatever the screen came this is your 70 number screen now you selected basic data one and pressed enter and you can see after that one more screen came in the recording and if i want to check the screen number of this system status and you can see now the screen number is 4004 and you can see now i am on screen number 4004 what you did in this 4004 you gave the description and you gave the unit of measurement you gave the description we gave the description test material we gave the unit of measurement ea and we clicked on to the save button just see whatever we did whatever we did sap recorded each and everything each and everything and we understood how sap how sap recorded each and every step that's why we told whenever you are going for recording never go for blind recording because if you will do some mistake or if you will do some if you will take some help at that point of time that will be generated in the form of code and that code will run for each and every record of legacy so always go for a recording which is error free so what do we what is the summary in this particular two videos bdc batch data communication it works on the principle of screen recording if you see we recorded the steps we recorded the screen steps we saw how we can go for various screens to create the material if i want to go for a recording always do the rehearsal first and then go for the recording you can go for recording through the transaction code shdb and whenever you are going for recording never take any f4 and f1 help of sap and never pass the wrong values so that's it in this particular video thank you